here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by your winner, Nathan Heaney. How did you find, find that crowd was packed out as usual tonight? Yeah, incredible crowd, mate. The, the best in, in British boxing, to be honest. And like I say, I've said before, if you say you're the best in British boxing, you might as well say you're the best in world boxing because the British crowd bring the best crowds out of everyone. So my, my guys are like, I don't, you can have someone that's selling 2,000 or, or it, like, yeah, but my, the unity between my guys is incredible and, and they never stop singing and it's just it's electrifying what they bring. And obviously, I felt like the performance reflected what my guys give me, give me tonight. Granted, there was bits where, where I, I put a lull in because Steve was saying, bloody hell, son, what the fuck are you doing? Like, to get, get, pardon me, get back to what you're doing. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's one of them. It's a great night. I enjoyed it. And, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Talk us through the fight. Yeah, first round. I knew he was going to come at me, so I had to come at him. I let him. I hit him hard. I hit him fast. Exactly what Steve was saying. Ba -ba bang, move. Ba -ba bang, move. And I, I thought. I thought for a second. I, mate, he's tough. Because I was whacking him. Well, I felt. Well, I don't know what he looked like on the cameras, but it felt like I was whacking him. And, and it, but he just so so tough. And then and then the ironic thing is, I he he got cut off in excellent like class this time, like he did with me in the first fight. But it, obviously, it wasn't as bad as as, as mine because my bloody eyebrow was hanging off of mine. But but it's um. But no, like, I, I, then it went through and he, he picked up a little bit. I let him get too close. But I think from round maybe, possibly round five, I think that's when I started boxing and moving a little bit more and making him miss and spinning off the hooks and stuff. So, yeah, just, um, yeah, I was happy with how it went. Denzel Bentley's the British champion. Yeah. I'm sure you'd entertain that thought. How do you think it would play out? Oh, yeah, one minute. I remember, <laughs> like I say, not once in my career have I ever mentioned a fighter's name or said, oh, I'll do this to him, I'll do that to him, because you can't say what's going to happen in a fight. Um, but I, I thought that Hamza Shiraz and him had been um, sanctioned to fight or defend, so who knows what's going to happen between them and that. So I don't know, mate. But, yeah, I, I, I'd love to fight for the British title. And whoever's got the the British title, that's who I'd we'll have to fight. But Would you want that next? What, the British title next? I think, I'd, 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 yeah, I'd love to fight for the British title next, yeah. And just last of all on the rematch, did you feel it would be different? Obviously, you've been in there before. What did you expect and how was it? Like, like I said before, the first fight was quite boring because I, I was boxing to a, a certain tactic and Jack Flatley was boxing but not really pressing me. So it made for quite a boring first four rounds, especially in front of a crowd like the MEM where there's like 14,000, I think, that was there. And obviously, and as well, I knew because my guys were in the gods in the last fight, the atmosphere wasn't the same because it was so far away, although they were amazing. Like I knew it was going to be intense and intimidating in there, which it was. But obviously, when you land in the shots and the place erupts, it just brings something different, especially in that that arena. Really appreciate your time. <laughs>